I'm just uh, getting the air filter here located today. So nice. Uh, That's looking good up there. Yeah. Yeah. Nice and up and out of the way. Yeah. Just uh, mapping it out and then uh, we'll get her bolted in. Today we're testing things on the truck. I'll let you talk. High voltage things. So as you see, there's an air breather now going in. Uh, so that's been working really hard on that this morning. And then we're also working on testing the axles for the very first time, which is just so cool. Like I can't wait to see them turn. It could be in the next few hours, give me the next few minutes. What we're doing right now is we're just using these clamps to hold everything. Uh, these clamps are pretty cool. Nigel sourced these. Er in Eric's defense, he set them first, and I'm like, no, no special clamps. And then Nigel's like, I'm just going to go get them, and then I liked them. Unistrep, so, baby. So yeah. Fast. yeah. Uh, what we're going to do in the future ones is I'm going to invert these, put them in the frame rail, but I'm going to run all my tracking on top and these cross members for this one. It is a prototype. We want to have access to our wires, able to fix them, change them out, diagnose things, maybe change things. So for the prototype, we're going to run them up on top. Production version, we're going to use this same stuff, but it's going to be mounted down on the frame rail, held out of the way. Yep, clean and easy. So guys, what we're yeah. using is so Unistrut to do our cable management, and these are pipe clamps. There's a rub, ru uh, rubber grommet inside, and you actually just use this top nut here, fastens everything down into place. So what's cool about these two is you can use air lines as well as electrical cable, and uh, just kind of slide in as so. Fasten down. Easy as that. What were you first, doing, Steve? We are going to put power to the inverter for the first time. We're enabling each piece one at a time, validating that no new faults are created with the addition of a new component, validating the voltage is rising as it should, yep. and monitoring right. faults at all points. Now we are adding in the fuse to connect power to the inverters for the first time, and once that is complete, we're gonna watch that, ensure it's pre-charging correctly, at that point, we're ready to start spinning the motors and see if this thing moves. You know, one thing about watching this on YouTube, you guys have the ability to fast forward to the end of the video right now and find out what happens. We don't know what's gonna happen right now. This is way more tense than it probably appears. What are you guys doing? Ensuring we're set up for inverter power. Any big changes and problems today that you've had to overcome? EMS pre-charge isn't exactly as uh, expected, but we can work around it. Nice. Well, it's very exciting because once we do power on the inverters for the very first time, we actually get to see if everything is working. And then one at a time, we can start testing the other high voltage stuff, such as the onboard charger, the DC to DC, and also our air compressor and power steering pump. So today's the day. Hopefully we get it all figured out. We're just getting ready to turn these axles for the first time. See how it works. We're going to send power to it with out of gear, in gear, then try it and gradually work our way up. But this is the big moment right now. Uh, we want a fire extinguisher person as well. Yeah. We have two. two. Okay. I've got dead men and, and one. No, no. give that to someone else. Your likely fire spots are here, here, and here. It won't be anything past there. I'll be the stopwatch person. Okay, I'm going to yell out battery on at some point. Drew's going to periodically yell out voltages. Once he yells a voltage that's higher than 550, yep. that's when we want to stop time. Steven, any, any other comments for the YouTube? Buck around and find out. This first test, the ideal version of it, is extremely uninteresting. <laughs> this first test should be uninteresting. We should see absolutely nothing happen. That would be the ideal scenario. Okay, I'm going to push the disconnects in. Disconnects in. All clear? Clear. Disconnects in. Yeah. Hold the button. Holding button. Battery on. Battery going live. Three, two, one. Starting time. 560. 560, and the other one is zero. Sitting at zero. All right. Uh, reset your timer. Because you're watching this. Okay. Let's reset. Once I will tell you once it should start. Okay. Yeah, I've got the backup timer. Okay. Started. Three, two, one, go. Are you going up, Drew? Yep. Uh, five or two. It has a little bit of a curve too, but it's still pretty straight shot. Yeah, it's five seconds. 
Five five seconds. Five five minutes. six point eight. Battery going on. Yep, five five sixty. Holding at five sixty. Okay, Drew, your thing's about to come on. Okay. Jumping up to 560, 556, holding at 556. Yeah, 4.8 seconds, give or take. You're getting five seconds? Yep. Our pre-charge is working. Oh. Doing wheel speed? Yeah, so yeah. that one is definitely doing something. Okay. Did you try to as well? Yep. So right now, we are rotating the wheels to see if the computer picks it up. Yeah. Uh, as well. awesome. Great success. Reading number one and two axles. Uh, we verified some communication on the motor to inverter side. Found a couple wiring problems that we're in the process of working down. And throughout the night, we'll hunt more of those down and hopefully ha get this more worked out for tomorrow. Okay, some good things today. We didn't blow anything up. We didn't catch anything on fire. We didn't kill anyone. And we didn't have to call the fire department. So we're winning on that aspect. And no, on actual thing, we did get some things going good. We got power going to the inverter, the high voltage going to the inverter. We did a few tests. We got the brakes released. We got the tires rolling. We could see that the computer was seeing the wheel speed. Uh, we did find we got to fix a few little minor wiring issues, a couple little bad pin connections. Uh, we're going to spend tomorrow morning kind of working on that. But overall, I think today went pretty well as far as testing going. Like I said, there's not a lot of exciting things. It's a slow process. I mean, we were hoping that we'd get the wheels to spin under their own power today. Uh, so it's a little bit of a setback that way. But I think we're still really well set up for that to happen. But I mean, at the end of the day, I was like, best case scenario, Absolutely. wheels spinning. It's still, but we're still, we're still on track for that in the next day or two. So. And thankfully, yeah. it was just a couple communication issues with wires yeah. that were kind of even, not even so much related to the tech, to the... Technology. Well, really, it was just physical. Yeah. We've learned that on the next truck, uh, some of those things like we talk about, how do we go from prototype to production? One of those things we need, we need a professional company to pre-build wiring harnesses for those pins and connections. Yeah, because you can't.